Luigi! Oh, come now! Enough with the charade! Isn't it awful to deceive people? To deceive yourself? What's so bad about doing what I want to do? And that has nothing to do with it. I'm what you really want, aren't I? Hell no! How I hate girls. So arrogant and self-centered. They cry if you get angry. They gossip behind your back. They spread nasty lies. They look at me like some, some disgusting thing and say that I'm a weirdo. Laughing at me all the while. You like to sew? What a queer! Painting is so not you! But you're a guy! You don't act like a guy! Why aren't you manly? What does it mean to be a guy? What does it mean to be manly? Girls are so scary. I ain't scared of them! Men are much better. They'd never say those awful, degrading things. Yes, I vastly prefer men. Hell with that! What makes you think you can say that shit with my face? Why, you're me. And I'm you. You do know that, don't you? No! No! uh No way! There's no way in hell that you're me! <laughs> you're me, and there's no denying it! Kanji-kun! Everyone, on guard! You know, the entire confrontation, by the way, uh, I... Angry Banjo here, we're playing Persona 4 Golden on Steam, and today we're saving Kanji Tatsumi! I am a shadow. The true self. I'm just being true to myself, and that's why... I'll get rid of anything in my way! Are these Kanji-kun's true feelings? This isn't really him! It's just his emotions going haywire! This has nothing to do with you guys anymore! <laughs> so the thing is, uh, about that entire speech I was trying to say, well, before I lost my train of thought, is it's actually, if you think, like, that's kind of deep. But then you kind of realize, oh wait, Atlas doesn't like homosexuals or anything like that, so obviously it's not as deep, it's just, haha, <laughs> Kanji's gay. It's the joke they're trying to make, even though I don't really feel like that's the case, and we'll get into that later on in the game, obviously. But, in case you haven't picked up on it, the shadows that they face, the shadow versions of themselves, are literally just, they're essentially their personas that they get. Kind of just all like all jacked up on, I guess, uh, their true feelings. You see Kanji's uh, persona, very feminine looking, but really masculine at the same time. And it's, it's like, hey, he's gay. I don't, I don't like it. That's the point. So Yosuke and main character are poisoned. This shouldn't take that long, though. No, no, we don't have anything. Ha ha! Oh, will you, sir? Wind spell on him. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Yeah, take poison damage. Uh, nope. Nope. I mean, we don't have anything. I'm trying to find something that'll heal the poison, and I don't have anything that'll actually heal poison. 
Do I want to use the Amrita Soda? Do I really need to? I'm trying to figure this out. I don't like having my party members die. Alright, we'll just let them suffer. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> I know you all thought I was weird. Deep down, you don't accept me at all. No matter what, I won't lose. Eyes closed. So since he hit Yosuke's weak point, he gets to do wow, double turn. Nice. That's fine. We'll just finish him off here with a myriad arrows. This should take him down. No! Hit Tenet! You gotta be kidding me. Alright, Chie, finish him off, please. Yosuke's all poisoned! There we go. You see what I mean? When you're higher level boss fights to less turns, normally that fight would have been actually really hard for me uh, in previous playthroughs. I couldn't figure out the pattern, and eventually you figure it out. You do figure out eventually he's got a certain way to beat him. Oh, damn it. Kanji kun. Wait, Yukiko, something's wrong. It's still coming at us! Kanji is still rejecting it! Well, I can't blame him with this many witnesses. Such a passionate approach. What? I think that you three would make wonderful boyfriends. Stop it! You got it all wrong! Enough! Stop! What the hell are you blabbering about? I don't care who! Won't someone! Anyone please accept me! Stop it! Accept me for who I am! Whoa, whoa! I really don't swing that way! I said stop it! I can't believe something like this is inside me. Kanji, you're... Yeah, I know. I've known all this time I had something like you. It ain't a matter of guys or chicks. I'm just scared shitless of being rejected. I'm a total pansy. He tries to make everyone hate me. You make it sound like you've got it all figured out. Come on, get up. Anyone who looks like me, I know they ain't so weak that they can't take a punch. I already know that you're me. You're me. And I'm you, damn it. Okay? It's, uh, 
It's nothing. Whoa. <laughs> I feel great. It's like my mind's all cleared up. Hey, about what just happened. Yeah, you better. We'll explain everything later. You need to take a rest now. We'll be waiting for you at school. School? Sure, if I ever feel like going. I'll take this guy home. If anyone asks, I'll just say I found him somewhere like this. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Remember that Kanji Tatsumi guy I told you about? You know, the one who went nuts on that news special. His family's shop called in to report him missing, but now he's been found. I thought I'd let you know since you go to the same high school. Yeah. One other thing. Some people have seen you around that textile shop lately, I hear. It's not the kind of shop students normally visit. Just what kind of business did you have there? A friend? Oh, that Amagi girl. That's right. Her family's in, buys their stuff wholesale. <sighs> Fine. Just don't get yourself in over your head, okay? Are you fighting again? There you go, we just successfully saved Kanji Tatsumi, and now we have to wait for him to recover. And this is one of the, the, I think the things that kind of bother me a bit here about saving people too early, because it's scripted. To an extent, we have a scripted time period to have them So if we don't have that whip, we have until, I think it's beginning of June. We have a couple of days where we have to save him. And now we have all this free time, and it kind of takes away from, I guess, the... What I think of is, like, the, the, the intensity, I guess, of having to meet a deadline. It's the same thing with Persona 5, uh, where we have that deadline. So it's lunchtime now, but as soon as social links we can actually spend time with today. Or that want to actively spend time with us. We'll play like that. Oh. So we have the best girls here that want to hang out with us. I think at this point we're Yo! rank one with Yukiko and probably rank three or four with Chie. I think we're at that point of time in the game where we actually are going to put Chie on the back burner for a few minutes, uh, a few days, and we're actually going to actively like push forward with Yukiko because I think Yukiko's going to be the first person we reach rank ten with. If I'm correct, I could be totally wrong, and my numbers, my 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 mental gymnastics that I'm doing right now could be totally off. But I think Yukiko actually is probably the first person we're going to get to rank ten in the game. And that's it, that's kind of important. You guys, <laughs> everyone's like, "Oh man, you're purposely gonna get Yukiko done first, so you can uh, romance Yukiko," and that could be the case. But we're gonna follow uh, a, a, a certain timeline. Uh, 
As I said before, if you want to play the game and you want to do almost everything in one go, try to find a 100% social link completion guide because those will help you max out every single social link in one go. And a lot of people were saying, dude, Tanja, you can't do that. That's not something you're able to do. And the people literally said you can't do it all in one go. False. Uh, I did it all in one go on the first playthrough. Uh, on the PC, we did 100%. We got all but three trophies, three or four trophies. Uh, if you're good at managing your time, you'll be able to pull it off easily, no problem. What can I say? It's doable. Persona 5 vanilla version, it's, it's a stretch. It is a major stretch. If you think about it, because you don't have that extra time. Royal made it a lot easier. So we just talked to Chie about the girl with the snacks. We got meat gum. And now... What are we doing? Um, we're just kind of completing some quests here. So we actually got this off screen. We went back to where Yosuke got his persona. And we got the item he, looked, he was looking for. So now we're gonna... I think we're gonna go into town and give that girl the meat gum. Meat gum just sounds so goddamn disgusting, doesn't it? We have to do something for him, and he's going to give us a book. Now, this is the only way that we're actually going to be able to, I think, get all the books. He's doing little odd quests here and there to be able to get them. That's fine. I don't care as much. So, we do want to get all those books. So, we can read them all, right? When we get the Reader King trophy, where we've read all the books. So, essentially... This is like a light walkthrough on how to get all the trophies in the game, too, as well. Uh, there is one, probably by the end of this playthrough, that I won't have, and it'll stop me from having 100% of them, and it's the one that drives me crazy. And let's see. Yeah, we're not going to hang out with Fuki or Chia today. We're actually going to do the Young Mother social link, and I, you guys know how I feel about this one. It is imperative that we get done. The sooner we get done, we can move on to other things. Not that it matters, we're gonna end up like taking a very long break from this, and we're gonna find a way to kind of speed rush through it. And it's not like speed rush through it. We I don't wanna have to spend time with her outside of You work. come, let's go home. I hate the way that kid runs, too. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's terrible. And of course, some of the points out here, certain points in parts of the game huh? feel longer. Because we got a lot of stuff going on. Usually it's before someone gets kidnapped and thrown into the TV world. It takes a lot <laughs> more time to go through a day because there's so much stuff we have to go through. And I know it sounds like complaining, but when you're trying to pace yourself to complete a certain amount in a certain amount like, of time, it's kind of a, it's a bit of a challenge to say the least. Uh, so we just ranked up with rank three with the young mother. So Jim is not home. We could sneak out. Let's check the fridge real quick here. Uh, thin slice of ham. Oh, every once in a while I check the fridge and get something comical like that. So we're gonna spend some time with Nanako. Oh God, Nanako's asking tough questions right now. Um, at this point in time we. Can rank with Anako. More likely in your first playthrough, you won't be able to do the fact that you won't have a high enough expression. So we're gonna put Nanako, uh, spending some time with Nanako on the back burner right there, and we'll actually get to her in the very near future. 
And I think once we finish reading this book, we're going to call it a day. Uh, mine has been Anger Banjo, guys. We just said Kanji Tatsumi here on Persona 4 Golden. Who's going to be the next victim? Who's are we going to have to save next? What's going to happen? Tune in next time, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.